Okay, I'm here with Jay Ingham, who's the Vice President of uh, Bigelow Aerospace. And what do you... Describe what we're looking at here. This is our uh, first station complex we're planning to launch. Um, currently scheduled to be in the 2000, late 2014, early 2015 kind of time frame. Okay. Um, we consist of uh, three medium lift launches and one heavy launch for uh, to get this station completed. Um, there's two sun nature vehicles, which are the smaller of the vehicles in the back. Each consists of about 180 cubic meters of interior volume. Um, and then the uh, propulsion bus and docking node here in the middle. Uh, and then on the, the largest module, is our BA 330, which is about 330 cubic meters of interior volume. It gets us a combined total of just shy of 700 cubic meters of uh, volume here, which is just a little bit less than half of what the uh, current ISS configuration is of about 1,100. And how many how many crew would be in this? Uh, let's see. Each the sun nature modules are each capable of, of three people each, and the, the 330 module is capable of six. Okay. Uh, we're currently not planning on loading them that hard, but they're, uh, the, the, the capability exists to, to run them that heavy. So, so the station could consist of 12. Okay. And uh, what what would this be configured to do exactly? Um, our model is to lease these to uh, different customers. Um, we're primarily looking at. Uh, foreign governments right now that have a space program but not large enough to run their own uh, missions and do their own development programs. Right. So these would all be leased space to any of those foreign customers or any customers for that. Okay. Now we've got some cutaways of some of the modules here, so why don't we uh, go through those. Yeah. This first one is the Sun Dancer vehicle. Again, this is about 180 cubic meters. Um, it's roughly 20 feet long inside and about 22 feet in diameter inside dimensions. Okay. Um, again, it's capable of three people. Uh, the life support systems, all of our Systems are designed to be self-contained, so each one of them has its own galley and toilet facilities and um, own, its own power generating and communication uh, okay. equipment as well. So each model could be self-contained, um, but as a station they become... Uh, um, it, it adds to the redundancy scheme so that if, you know, if we have problems in, in any of the systems on any one of the vehicles, they can go use any of the other vehicles. Okay. Now let's see. Uh, let's, let's see this other uh, one here. Sure. This is a longer module from yeah, that station. Yeah, three thirty. Again, about three hundred thirty. Oh. About three hundred thirty cubic meters of interior volume. Um, it's about the same diameter as the Sun Dancer, but it's about fifty percent longer, which gives us uh, about double the volume. Okay. Uh, this one's capable of uh, six people. All right. Now. Um, We've got this other uh, module. This is a concept module for a larger one. Right. This is if, uh, if a, a super heavy lift vehicle ever did exist, uh, this would give us a little over double the volume of the current International Space Station. In, in this one module. In one module, uh, but would require an 8 meter fairing to launch this. Uh, we call this one our BA-2100. What, what sort of uh, heavy lift, what kind of range are we talking about in terms of size? Um, let's see, it's it's a, be an 8 meter fairing, um, probably in the, the range of uh, around 100 metric tons. Ah, okay. Because uh, the NASA asked for, the NASA authorization bill asked for something at about 70 tons, so this wouldn't right. this, quite do that. This would that. be bigger than that, correct. Okay. Are you seeing any? Okay. Do you see any uh, launch vehicles on the horizon that would be able to do that? Again, if the Ares Five did exist, this would work on that. Um, we'll have to see what shakes out that way. Uh, okay. We do have concepts of slightly smaller modules that would fit on the, the modified Delta IV that they've been talking about. Uh, it would be like the 70 metric tons, six or seven meter fairing kind of sizes. Okay, so you've got a smaller version of this. Yeah, that would get us about 1,150 cubic meters. Again, about equivalent to the station to the existing space station in one mile, in one vehicle. Okay. Um, well, thank you very much. Sure. I appreciate it. Okay.